I was going to call this Gardening with Goats. Because they're actually outside. This is Evie and Rowan. Yeah, so the first babies. Uh, this is going to be my new bed. And as you can see, I've been filling it. I have uh, logs, like those logs over there. And you roll them up on, on end so that the flat part there where you've cut and then you stack them next to each other and it makes a nice bed. Um, I did it when I was in Washington because, well, money's expensive and this is like rotten wood almost because it was just left out. It wasn't under the cover like the sauna wood. That's our sauna right there. Um, they used to use that wood doctor. <clears throat> it's not hooked up anymore, so we can't use it. Would have been nice to have, but I don't know anything about running that, so I'd have to learn how to do that. It could be an option in the future. But, so this is where I've been hauling the stall stuff from the horses mostly, but from the goats too, when I get a little bit out of the goats. Um, and the chickens, because they'll be nice and hot. However, <laughs> as you could tell when we first started, I was a little out of breath, because it's heavy to pull it up over that snow. But I've got these two gremlins running around with me. And I thought you'd like to see, yes, Rowan. They do like to come out in the snow. They like to be with me. Uh, best thing about bottle babies is that they do like to be with you. They don't like to run off anywhere. So that is, that's Evie. I like how she's got like cream spots and white spots. She's got different colored spots on her, which is kind of neat. Her daddy was, the, was that creamy color when I bought him. And now he's a solid black and white. So I was wondering when she gets her like adult coat in, if she, hers were going to turn white too. I don't think so because she's got like, she's almost like a calico goat. She's got white splotches and she's got the cream splotches. And the white is white. It's not like it's turning white. It is white. Uh, as you can tell, I do not dehorn my goats. That's a conversation I'll have to have with somebody else, but I do not de dehorn them. I've put some of the... Uh, stall shavings in here too. My plan is I'd like to cut down these trees here. I'd like to put a chicken run that runs from, let's say I don't have them, I think I have them in that first stall where that window is, and I would run it back, I don't know, I could run it out maybe six to eight feet and then run down ten feet. That'd be 60 feet of a chicken run, which is plenty space for chickens. They They don't need that much what I don't want to do is put a hole in the building. I really don't want to cut into the, the hall. I mean, if they had an outside area, they could probably get out in the winter. Um, maybe, maybe not. But in the summer, it would be nice for them to be able to get out and get bugs and grass. And we could throw grass. I could, you know, run around with the grass, clip it into a bag, and then dump it into the pen for them to get extra grass. We, we can't do free range. The, the, we've got a fox several fox and they just eat them but the plan was further down I'm leaving this out in smaller piles to decompose over the winter I know it freezes but it will help settle it and the hay and stuff will absorb all the water it'll be heavier to move but it'll be easier to decompose once I get that done and then I want to put like a bed after the chicken run I'm going to put a bed of something because it'll get plenty of sun where I could put um I was thinking maybe medicinal plants so I don't want the trees right there. They don't serve a purpose. Uh, I worry that they scratch the side of the building or the roof when it's really windy. These are not a tree that, this is a tree that breaks a lot, has a lot of uh, limb break, breakage, I guess you'd call it. If you look at it, it's a paper birch. They're kind of cool, but they're just, they're not a safe. And I just, I don't want them. I'd rather have it warmer in my barn because as the sun comes up, because you're, you're facing east right now, so south, it stops the roof from being able to warm up and have all of the snow and stuff slide off, which if we were to get three or four feet, that can get dangerous because it's, it's heavy, and I don't want my roof to collapse. Uh, it shouldn't. I mean, structurally, it should not. It's been here for years, and we've had that, many, that much snow in the past, but I'd just like to get the trees down. I'd also like to take those trees over where I put the uh, chicken, the stall shavings, there, that was the original property line, and I've said this in a video before, I'd like to take those ones out so that there'll be a bed there. Uh, that's going to be a flower bed, like for garden flowers or flowers on the kitchen table where I could sell at the farmer's market. 
And then the tr that oak tree, which I hate to cut down an oak tree, but it's right under the power lines and that needs to go. So I'd cut down that one and I'd cut down that apple tree in front of it. And I, there's a wild rose bush there that I would then put some compost on. Are you guys ready to go back inside? It's cold out here. Let's go inside. But I wanted to show you huh? gardening with goats. That's what happens when you have uh, bottle-fed babies. They think you're their mama. And they stay around. They don't wander off. They don't run far. They got a little bit of a belly on them. Hmm. It's because they're a little fat. Yes. I'll probably deworm them. But this week they get their copper bulbus. It's finally coming in. These guys seem to be okay, but I've got older rescue goats that I want to put the copper bulbus in. And then I'm going to give it to all of my, all of my close to adult goats. Come on. And the does, if I can. They're not, they're not bred right now, but they are in milk, so I don't know if nursing is an issue. So, all right, guys. Talk to you later. It's barn cleaning day. Bye.